Hello you lovely hobby people. I thought I would start a small series on character unboxings. So I know it's not a new character but I'm going to kick off with one of my favourites. It is Khan the Betrayer. So how can you not like Khan? He's a friendly guy. He even butchers his own men. What's there not to like? Uh, so I have uh, the original Khan the Betrayer painted up. Uh, the classic red colours, things like that. But as you may know, if you've been following any of our stuff on Instagram, Facebook, or on our Battle Report on our YouTube channel, um, I've been starting a 30k paint style on 40k World Eaters. So white armour mainly, with the blue shoulder pads and gold trim. On the older marines, like the 30k stuff, and the old style marines I should say, there's lots of um, a lot less gold trim, so you won't go crackers. But on the new stuff, the new Chaos Space Marines, so much gold, I'm losing my mind. But um, I bought this guy because I want to paint him white, and I couldn't bring myself to because I, I quite liked my previous paint scheme um, and the, the work I've done on my old Khan. Yes, I feel like I've improved on my skill level, but I couldn't bring myself to strip it down. So I bought myself a new one, that's my excuse anyway. Um, so I can paint him up white, mainly white, um, and then with a blue shoulder pad because he's got one bare arm. Um, and then I'm gonna chip the hell out of him. So in this lovely unboxing, I'll get rid of the horrible, crinkly, noisy stuff, and then show you what you get on your sprue. I got rid of that horrible stuff. Berserker Champion of the Blood God! Um, yeah, anyway. Khan, um, he's equipped with the Gore Child, and if you don't know your fluff, uh, his Primarch had an axe called Gore Child, and one called Gore Father. And he has now no longer any use for it, because he's a big old demon. So, Khan has the Gore Child axe. So... And why is he called the Betrayer? Because, yeah, guess what? He betrays his men in combat because Khan never misses. Never, never misses. Which means, oops, there we go. Uh, which means if he does roll any ones, any friendly models nearby, instead are smacked. So, pretty simple how to build. So, two main halves there and then stick his legs on. I'll just check to see if there's a newer set of rules for this guy, because 160 points, eh, I'm not so sure there's the rules. Um, because it has changed a little bit, probably since this model's been out. And then we have his rules in other languages. So I'll get rid of this a second. This is 2016, so I believe the rules probably have changed since then. It says on the front here, steps one to three. So it's pretty basic how to put it together. And I'm half tempted not to put the additional chains on because it does look a little bit like a Morris Dancer. But you know, Khan's massively friendly. He is pretty much a Morris Dancer. But before we hit the rules, big box and only one sprue. If I can even get it out. Mm. Me and packaging do not get on. Right, so slightly different size base than what we're used to with the old Khan. So 40 mil base now, makes him look a little bit more epic, and one tiny sprue. You can see some details there. So there's lots of dangly chains this time around. Previously he was wrapped in chains around his arm. He still is there, you can see. And there's a lot more detail this time around on Gore Child. You can see there's tiny little skulls in there. Before there was a single skull on the flat side of the axe. Now there is no flat side of the axe. It's a bit indentated with loads of tiny little skulls. A lot, lot more detail this around. Like the plasma pistol, for example. The skull in there is a bit more defined. But you know, the old car model was probably about 20 years old, so. Uh, definitely more menacing. The skulls are more prominent there. 
and rather than the classic basic Berserker helm smooth inset normally it's actually got tiny little skulls in there as well all right okay so this kit was out in uh, 2000 and was it 16 did it say uh, yeah 2016 so I am a little bit behind the times because I still refer to this as new even though it's four years old so shall we get on with the rules for him okay so I was right he is a lot cheaper these days because uh, they want you to get more characters and models on the table I feel uh, especially with the chaos stuff so as I'm recording this the chaos guys have not had a new codex so I don't know if the world eaters are going to have a separate one or they're going to wrap it up in a generic chaos space marine codex like they normally do but Khan the Betrayer is now 115 points and as I said, he's armed with Gore Child, Plasma Pistol, Frag and Crack Grenades. Um, so, this model, like most Berserkers, can fight twice in each fight phase instead of once, which is always, always nice. He has death to the False Emperor, so if you're attacking any Imperial units in the fight phase, any hit rolls of a 6+, plus, so that's not unmodified, that's a 6+, plus. so if you can boost it, you get an additional attack. But those attacks themselves do not generate any further attacks. He has a special ability called Kilm, Maim and Burn. Like I said, he's friendly. He's like a Morris Dancer, right? So he can re-roll failed hit rolls made for friendly World Eater units within one inch of him. But because he's a Betrayer, and if you are within one inch of him, um, you know, it, it could hurt. Uh, so he cannot re-roll any modified hit rolls of one made for Khan the Betrayer in the fight phase. Instead, those attacks automatically hit other friendly units within engagement range. So, randomly determine which unit, if there is more than one, that Khan hits instead. So, you want your Berserkers close, but you might want to get them to attack before and Khan does. To get the most out of them, because Khan will butcher them if he fails. So, any rolls of a one... He's going to be butchering his own guys. Okay. Now, I did that before in the last edition and took the last wound off my own Land Raider he got out of, blew up the Land Raider, and seriously injured Khan. I won't forget it. My opponent won't forget it. But it was a damn good laugh, I must say. And Khan would want it. You know, the Blood God would want it. Uh, this model has a 4-up invulnerable save, as most characters do as well. So the basic stat line is movement 6, weapon skill 2, ballistic skill 2, uh, strength 5, toughness 4, wounds 5, attack 6. But remember you can always attack twice. And because um, he has hate for assault in the turn he charges or performs a heroic intervention, you get an extra attack anyway. So let's say you charge in, you got your 7 attacks. You could generate extra attacks if it's an Imperium unit you're attacking, any sixes, and then you get to attack again. So he, he's going to butcher infantry. He's not going to care too much about infantry. The old frag grenade, six inches, you know, it's a grenade D6. It's got the blast keyword now in this latest edition, which is good. So more than five models, six models, sorry, in a unit or more, you know, it's, it's three, even before you roll the D6. Or if it's 10 or more models, it's uh, straightaway 6, which is pretty nice. Good old blast. But it's only strength 3. Uh, I mean, crack grenade is possibly better. Same range. It's only one shot. Twice the strength. So strength 6. AP 1, D3 damage. So maybe against the tank or something. Uh, but why wouldn't you shoot his pistol? Because his pistol is range 12. It's strength 8. AP 3. Two damage, but because it's Khan and he's a flipping mad man, on an unmodified row of a one, he suffers a mortal wound because this plasma pistol is always, always supercharged. It's holding that finger in the trigger, charging up constantly because he's a nutter. But the weapon we've all been waiting for, Gore Child, adds one to his strength, so his strength technically is six. It's AP four, so it's a, it's a marine killer. And it is D3 damage. But it always hits on a 2-up 
regardless of any modifiers. But remember, if he does get a one and there's any friendlies nearby, he gets angry and butchers them. So he never misses. If you look at it that way, he never misses. Um, he's great. I love him. Uh, very slow on foot, so you want to put him inside of a vehicle. Great against infantry, because it's just a sheer number of attacks. It's a shame it's not straight 2 damage. Maybe it will be in the new codex, rather than D3, because I generally roll 1s. But I just think he's awesome. And even if he doesn't do anything, he, he looks like a flipping boss. He looks like a right psycho running across the table. Um, like I said, I'm not sure about these chains. They do appear a bit too long, because... If his arm was hanging down by his side, he would trip over the chains, surely. So I might cut the chains off there, or I might shorten them a little bit, because I do think that is a bit stupid. Uh, but your opinion. What do you think of Khan the Betrayer? Do you like the new model? Do you prefer the old model? There's a lot more detail, like I said, inside there, and on the axe itself. But I do think those chains are slightly too ridiculous. I do love the rest of the model though, not a problem. But how have you found Khan over the years? Have you, have you played against him? Have you used him? And what's your favourite stories? And uh, feel free, if you have painted him, put some pictures up on our Facebook page at House of Chaos Community. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please hold me safe. Please hit that like button, and if you haven't done already, please subscribe. Thank you very much.